everybody and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you guys how you can style some really simple, really easy, last minute, maybe Valentine's Day outfits. Who knows? I mean, they're not really overly dressy, but I'm going to show you today. But it's things I'm sure we all have in our closet and you're just scrambling to find an outfit last minute. You forgot to place your order. Orders are on back hole because of COVID. I mean, the list goes on and on. So here's something simple you can throw together last minute straight from your own closet. All right, so let's hop into this video. So for my first outfit, I'm simply taking a pair of sweatpants and a simple little tank top. So I have these little green sweats that I got from Shein. Um, they actually came with a little sweatshirt as well, but I love these pants. They're super comfy. They have the little um, grip at the end on the ankles. So I love these. And then just a simple little tank I have from Forever 21 that I wear all the time underneath things. So how can we change this into a cute outfit, you ask? Glad you asked. So the key to this, honestly, is the accessories. Yes, you don't have to put too much thought into it. You wear the clothes, don't let the clothes wear you. We've all heard that saying, but it's so true. So as you can see here, I have worn these pants. I've kind of scrunched them, give that oversized baggy look. We know Rihanna is notorious for rocking some sweats and just really making a super cute outfit out of. I like the tank because it's a little bit more fitted. So you don't want like overly baggy on your whole attire, unless you're like a six foot tall, a hundred pound model, they get away with anything but we're real, okay? So <laughs> yes, I love the baggy look of the pants and then the tight form-fitting fit of the, the, the tank underneath. And then I just paired it with this cute little blazer. Once again, a little bit more oversized and it just honestly just brings it all in together to make it a little bit more jazzy and a little less casual. And like I said, the key is the accessories. So here I have paired it with um, some simple gold necklaces. I love layering the little small thin dainty necklaces. I love having one that's a little bit shorter like a choker style and then one that just kind of hangs. It is just the perfect combination and so on trend right now and you can find these necklaces anywhere. So this is look number one. Kept it real simple. Kept the the um, sleeves scrunched up so that way you're just kind of giving that real cool easy look and I just paired it with this little clutch just brought it all together. So this is look number one. So for look number two, we are just going with a plain, simple, oversized graphic tee that I'm sure we wear every day. Maybe you sleep in it like me. Like I love my oversized t-shirts. They were my favorite outfits to wear during my pregnancy. <laughs> so we are going to turn this into a cute little last minute V-Day outfit or just a regular outfit to go out in. And this one's not overly dressy as well, but I just love the ease and comfort of it. And it still gives you that cool stylish look. So I just paired this with a pair of uh, high-waisted skinny jeans. I'm sure a lot of us have that to cover that beautiful gut down below. <laughs> if you're anything like me, got the mom vibe going. So yes, the high-waisted jeans are a must. And then honestly, you can either tuck this in or just tie a knot, knot like I did to give it, like, like I said, that overly baggy look and you got the form-fitted jeans. It's the perfect juxtaposition. It gives you like a nice cool ease flow. And then I just paired it again with the blazer. I just draped it across my shoulders, um, added some shades, some sunglasses and we are good to go on this look. And another key with the accessories, I love the little chunky necklaces. Uh, it's a plus to me if you have a little sparkle in them. <laughs> and you you um, tie that in with a casual top, it really just brings it all together. It just takes it away from just your pajamas to like, bam, I'm stepping out today. And you never can go wrong with a messy bun or as I'm calling it these days, a mom bun. Yes, I'm coining it now. It is now called a mom bun, not a messy bun. <laughs> so yes, you can't go wrong with the messy bun, a nice little sparkly necklace. You know, once again, drape that little blazer over, some high-waisted jeans, some little booties, and bam, we are ready to go out on the town. And last but not least, yes, Girls, look into that summer wear. I know it's February, I know it's cold, but look at your summer wear. There's so many things you can do. So what I did was I took this little summery dress, one of those little cheap dresses you get from Ross. I think I actually bought this to wear 
for when I got out of the hospital from having my baby. <laughs> so yes, I took this and I just turned it into a cute little, once again, oversized shirt. I just am really into the oversized look. And I paired it with my high-waisted black jeans and I just tied a little knot in the corner. And honestly, the higher you tie the knot, the better of a, a drape it looks. So now it doesn't look so obvious that it's a dress. It looks very intentional. And I just paired it with a denim jacket as well, which I'm sure is a staple that so many of us have in our closets already. And bada bing, bada boom, you are ready to go. Not too much on the jewelry this time because for me personally, this dress has a little pattern, has stripes. So I didn't want my necklace to be too busy to compete with it. And I just wore some simple, cute, mid dangly earrings and we are good to go. Oh, and also I am rocking a headband wig. Um, for anybody who cares, <laughs> I'm rocking this headband wig. One I've mentioned before in previous videos, I am dealing with postpartum hair loss and I've been doing lots of research and I honestly don't see a whole lot of like um, hairstyles you can wear while your hair is falling out, you know, cause I feel like everything requires tension to your hair. You can't put heat on it and straighten it because it'll fall out more. Can't do braids because it's too tight and it'll fall out more. So I was at a standstill. I'm not a big wig person, but I saw someone suggest headband wigs. And y'all, this thing has been a lifesaver. It looks like this thing is growing out my head. The headband actually keeps the little bit of edges I got left um, slicked down when I would just try to wear like my head wraps or other styles. My edges were so like all over the place and falling out that they really wouldn't stay slicked down. So this has been the only solution so far that's helping me while I'm trying to take care of my hair underneath all this. So this has been a huge help. I got this for 30 bucks at my local um, hair supply store, beauty supply store. So if you guys are experiencing the same thing, that may be a good suggestion, good way to go because so far it's been the only thing that has been helping me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and stay tuned for more. Leave plenty of comments down below. Let me know what you liked. Uh, let me know what you want to see more of and I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye.